Welcome to Solo Travel Adventures, my sisters. Don't let fear hold you back from traveling alone. I want you to gather your courage, listen to inspiring stories, and learn how to travel solo while safely navigating new places from this show. I'm Cheryl Esch, solo travel advocate and travel coach, and I want you to have a transformative experience when you travel solo. So pack your bags, book your flight, and check one more time for that passport. It's time to explore the world. Well, I think we're all about at that age when we can remember when we did fly when we were younger, maybe in the 70s and early 80s, I do remember that people would dress up to fly. I mean, I don't know, was it just my family? But I do know other people around us did and how proud we were. And it was almost like we would wear, you know, our Sunday best to travel and sitting there and getting that TWA little uh, pin on my lapel was just so exciting um, to fly. Um, But that's not so much the case anymore. As you know, and you've flown that anything goes with what you wear on a flight. I'm sure you've seen some things, right? Anything from PJs to slippers to uh, crop tops to heavy winter coats and hoodies and stuff like that. So anything goes, but I'm going to share with you four things you should actually never wear on a plane and what you should wear instead. So the first one had some controversy, uh, particularly when things started opening up after COVID or even right before COVID. Um, You may have seen some incidents where um, someone may have gotten really Uh, triggered. Um, There were fights on planes, people were being pulled off. Um, Because of potentially someone having offensive clothing on. And that could be anywhere just from, you know, offensive swear words, to maybe offensive in a political way, Um, whatever it may be, that can cause a rift, maybe with your seatmate on a plane. And that's not a good thing, especially if you have a long flight, you don't want to be next to someone who is angry at you and uh, maybe makes your flight a little um, uncomfortable and not as nice. Maybe they do things to irritate you. So what should you wear instead? Well, I always just wear usually solid colors, to be honest. Um, Yes, I've seen many people fly in support of their sports team. I haven't seen many issues with that because a lot of times that actually sparks conversation, even if it's, a, you know, someone, a team that they don't like or it's their rival. Um, you know, in good nature, a lot of the sports uh, fans, they tend to, you know, strike up a conversation about, you know, their team versus the other person's team that maybe they don't like. But still, I always wear pretty basic colors. I have a solid t-shirt and usually some solid joggers. I have worn sweatpants and those are perfectly fine because we know we want to be comfortable, right? Especially if we're going to be taking a long flight. But just be aware what um, symbols and things might be on your clothing. Uh, Number two, speaking of long flights, Sandals or open toe shoes are not recommended if it's a long flight. If it's a shorter flight, I've, I've seen people, you know, wear sandals and they're probably fine. But for me, I know I need some socks on my feet. My feet get cold when I'm flying and long flights, the airplane does get cold. And even more so, not just regular socks, but if you have a long flight, I am going to highly recommend a compression socks to help with your circulation so that your ankles and feet aren't swollen when you get to your destination. So consider uh, what you're wearing on your feet so that your feet don't get cold. Um, If you like sandals and you just want to bring some socks and put some socks on and then slide your feet in your sandals, I've seen that too. 
All right. So number three, again, that whole idea of a long flight, we know the temperature drops when we're in the air longer. Um, Wear layers. Uh, You don't want to wear just like maybe a, a tank top and some shorts because inevitably you're going to get cold. Uh, I remember traveling with my son one time and of course he came on with shorts and a t-shirt and then was uh, begging to, you know, borrow my, you know, something of mine, whether it was a sweatshirt or something and or asked me if I had a blanket because he got cold. So just wear layers because, you know, It does get warm as you're waiting or taxiing, right? So you want to be able to take off layers. And then when you're flying and you're maybe trying to sleep, um, although they will provide blankets, um, but you still probably want to have your own sort of layers of clothes that you can take on or off depending on the temperature of the plane. And number four, most people do not consider this, um, but I... I'm going to put it out there because it does, it affects me personally. Do not wear perfume or strong fragrances anymore. There's many people that have allergies or react to that kind of strong scent as myself. And it's just kind of common courtesy. You're not really going to entice or, uh, you know, uh, going to a, a, a big event or show that you would really need any perfume. So maybe save that for later. But what you do want to wear instead is deodorant. Because we know on the opposite end of that spectrum is, you know, it's not fun to sit next to somebody who has some body odor and maybe hasn't showered and or hasn't at least used deodorant. Deodorant can help with some of that. So avoid the fragrances, and then wear some deodorant. Yeah. So I've been lucky in that my last flight home from France, I had a lady sitting next to me that, um, and sorry to say, but it does seem to be um, my older folks, you know, maybe in their 70s that like to wear perfume because they, that's what they do. That's what they grew up putting on every day. They put on their perfume. Well, she sat next to me and luckily the plane was not full and she decided um, to go towards the back of the plane and have, you know, more space because she was in the middle. Um, If she had moved, I would have likely moved because uh, by the end of the flight, that long um, seven hour flight or so, I would have definitely had a migraine. So consider that those four things that you should never wear in a plane and then those four items that you should wear instead. So sisters, go out there and go on an adventure. I'd really love to hear from you. So please leave me a message on my speak pipe, which is in the show notes. And send me some questions that you want answered or some suggestions of some topics you'd like to hear on the show. Hey, sister travelers, did this podcast inspire and encourage you? or move you to get out there and travel? Wonderful. There are three ways you can thank me. First one is leave a written review for the show on Apple Podcast. Two, share the show with your sister travelers, your friends, your family. And three, subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. And thank you again for listening to the show. Sisters, be fearless, take the leap, and get out there and have an adventure.